A year ago, though, there was racial injustice in the city of Atlanta, across America, really. Um, here, though, the protests took place uh, in the backdrop of this city that has a rich history in civil rights. The city's police headquarters were spray painted with the words defund the police. It hit home for Atlanta mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. In our recent conversation, I asked the mayor for her take on that movement, one that she says goes far beyond just a memorable slogan. I understand the sentiment. I didn't support it, no. And the reason being, um, city budgets are complicated. And when I was doing interviews during the discussions in Atlanta, I would pull out our budget book. It's got 400, 500 pages in a budget book. It's not that simple. The majority of our funding for our police department goes to salary, retirement, workers' comp. Um, and every budget is unique. So to just say slash it in this area doesn't really capture the sentiment. What I tried to explain for us, we looked at our corrections budget because we were talking about closing our jail. Um, we eliminated cash bill bonds in the city. We ended our relationship with ICE. We have this massive 12-story facility that houses maybe 30 people a night. Our opportunity was to redeploy our correction staff into community-based programming to redeploy some of that money. So there was an opportunity for us to move money around in the budget, but the best opportunity was not to do it from our police budget. Because the reality is, is in communities of color, there are a lot of people who want the police there. There are a lot of people who believe that we should have more officers on our streets. I think everybody agrees that they want to have positive interactions with the officers on their streets. But I give the example, when I had a family member who was murdered, Your we called the police. The police solved his murder. So I, um, I recognize that there's this delicate line, but I also want my children and my husband and, and anybody in my family to have positive encounters with the police. So it's a, it's a very delicate balance and a simple solution and a simple slogan are, aren't going to address those challenges. Mm. Let me tell you something. Um, I love how head on and authentic she was. And yeah, mm -hmm. it was an incredible tragedy when, you know, a young person, her family was slain. Um, and it's not always popular for the black mayor of a city of Atlanta to not side with that movement that says we're done with the police. Defund it. Let's go a different way. Rebuild it, you know, tear it, dismantle it and, and bring it back right. to life in some other non-confrontational right. form. But I like that. I'm going to tell you something. When she walked in the door, number one, she never looked more radiant. She's a beautiful woman. Mm. You know, we can all see that. But. There was something, and I, I remarked, she had the gorgeous color on, her hair was laid, everything looked fantastic. And she said, this is peace. <laughs> you know, she had made her decision. Yeah. She would prayed about it. She's yeah. a, a prayerful woman. <laughs> um, but I liked her candor, and I couldn't, I, we locked eyes for the whole interview, which is probably I creep people out when I do that. But I, it was riveting, some of the things that she talked about, and you'll hear more about it. Um, but yeah, remember, this is not just a city that she moved to. This is a city she, yeah. this is her city, you know? And so she she's does just, care a lot about it. Yeah, and it was a delicate balancing tell. act, Mike. Yeah. And you can tell she loves the city and she's passionate about it. And yeah, I, I think she would be at peace. She's made her decision. Now she doesn't, she still has to uh, fulfill her term and there are still issues she still wants yeah. to take care of. Because exactly. she wants to keep Atlanta yeah or make Atlanta a, a better place than when she, you know, took over the reins as mayor. Who doesn't want to do that? You want to fulfill your term and leave it in a better position than it was before you took over. Obviously, there are a yeah. lot of things, but there are certain terms, Sharon, that I think people, and you just heard President Obama talk about misinformation. We have mm -hmm. to do our research. We have to understand mm -hmm. what critical race theory really is. We have to understand mm -hmm. what the fund the police really is because there are people, politicians, 
Republicans usually, who throw out terms like that to scare a base. Defund the police. That means, man, there's gonna be crime that's rampant up and down the street. Oh, they're gonna come in your neighborhood and they're gonna terrorize you and you're not gonna yeah. be able to call 911. That is the issue that we're having because of the ignorance that a lot, and we'll talk about this a little bit more at the top of the uh, hour, that they're preying off the ignorance of a, a base or a constituency. It doesn't mean that you're gonna get rid of the police. It just means that you're going to break it down and you're going to take away some of the funds from a lot of the police who have that brute force that go into a neighborhood where sometimes you need a, a, a mental health expert, right? Right? Am I right about this? Sure. Th these are the things where you're taking mental these funds and you're expert. allocating them Empathy. to other places. Empathy, you're, you're, you're building more community centers. You're doing the, that means the fundamental, it doesn't mean that your whole police force goes away. Maybe you need to strip it down and start all over again yeah. in a sense. But yeah, you have to rebuild it. Well, but that doesn't mean that people aren't going to get locked up for murder or crime's going to be rampant. Yeah. We've seen that before in places it's, like uh, Camden, New Jersey. So follow the model. No, I agree with you. And I mean, it's a delicate balancing act because Republicans didn't coin the phrase defund the police. They just co-opted it and they ran away with a lie. Um, but that That's was the struggle. Remember what Representative mm -hmm. Clyburn and talked about the late great John Lewis and the civil rights fight and the mistakes they had made um, in how they market it. It's sorry, folks. It's marketing to get mm. your point across. Yeah. You market. So on the one hand, you had a movement that said this was no unforced error. We were provocative. We called it defund the police for a reason, because that's what we meant. And then you had the mm. other side, you know, President Obama, Representative Clyburn, Others, Nancy Pelosi saying, we we want police to change too, but you can't call it that because mm -hmm. the messaging, we can't then go back to American public who's more USA Today than New York Times. They want the little mm -hmm. Twitter, how many characters the is it now? Yep. Um, right. right, so that's the rub, but I love the way she spoke to it. Um, and she spoke from experience. At the end of the day, she's the mayor of Atlanta and she'll be that mm -hmm. through December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But mm -hmm. she's a black woman and a mother in this city, too. And she had mm -hmm. something to say. Now, I will tell you, I won't do it here. But there was one question that, you know, I, I asked her some tough questions, too. And she gets to speak to her legacy. There was one question that I did not get to ask her that may have been mm -hmm. to some critics and fans her biggest misstep of her term, biggest misstep of mm -hmm. her entire term and i'll leave with that wow. because i you know i love her but we got to talk about that okay we have to talk about oh, it because okay. that too right. is part of keisha Please. lance bottom's legacy i'm black america's mayor mm -hmm. that's that's going to be part of her legacy too so at some point this morning i really do <laughs> i really do want to talk about it um okay. and i do think i hope we'll tweet it at her maybe she'll address it maybe she won't um but i think she has to so <laughs> okay. yeah i, I think she has to, to. she has to um, well, got to keep, keep it a buck, as you love to say. Uh, you yes. can watch the full interview yeah. a week from today, right, in a special two-part mm. center stage. Um, yeah, I got to ask her about it, Mike. And we ran out of time, even though she gave us a lot of time, but she has got to speak to this. She has to.